All right, everyone, I have got an exciting plant for you this week. And this is one of the carnivorous plants that you can actually find locally on Spring Island. And that plant is the dwarf sundew. Now carnivorous plants are really unusual amongst the plant community because not only do they photosynthesize to make their own food, they also eat insects and other animals to gain more nutrients. And it wasn't believed that any plants were carnivorous until Darwin actually proved it by studying sundews in the UK. Now carnivorous plants have adapted to eating insects because they typically are going to live in areas with very poor soil nutrition, areas that need some disturbance and moist soils. So they're not able to take up as many nutrients within their roots in order to photosynthesize. And so they have to be able to digest insects and get those extra nutrients. Now, each species of carnivorous plant has adapted to do this in a couple of different ways. You might think of pitcher plants or Venus flytraps, but the sundew here actually has tiny little drops of fluid that resemble nectar, and that substance will attract the insects. The insects inadvertently get stuck in the fluid and as they're thrashing around trying to get out the hairs will actually close in around them and cause the insect to get digested even faster the other unusual thing about carnivorous plants is they do produce flowers that need to be pollinated now how does a plant that eats insects also get pollinated by an insect without eating it and for these carnivorous plants particularly sundews they're going to shoot up a flower well above the carnivorous parts of the plant so for these dwarf sundew in just a couple of weeks they're going to produce a three to five inch stem that will have several flower buds on it each bud will bloom individually and produce a beautiful white or pink flower on it I hope that you enjoyed learning about these dwarf sundews with me today. I hope this is also a reminder that there might be hidden biodiversity right underneath your feet. So as you're out walking, make sure that you're not only looking up, looking out, but also looking down.